well and watched it and actually applied it and saw immediately that the dog responded to me. The results were so fast. Proudly presents live coverage of local college basketball. Today, the St. Michael's Purple Knights travel from Vermont to Worcester as they face the Assumption College Greyhounds in this Northeast 10 battle. Well, hello everyone. This is Gary Tangway in for John Holt, who's going to take off today. And Ernie Floyd joins me as always. Ernie, good to be working with you today. We got a tough one here for the Greyhounds. They have to take on a very good St. Michael's team. Oh, that's right. And St. Michael's has been working very hard over the years, and they finally got to the point where they really want to be. And I expect a lot of big strength coming to, um, coming from them, especially if they got four seniors coming here this afternoon. And part of that depth and experience is six foot five inch Jeff Carr. This guy is something else. He is in the top 10 at field goal percentage in the country. And not only that, he's in the rebound category. And also, he has a nice touch around the basket. He's a power forward, so he brings a lot of strength to the team. And of course, Assumption will be depending on Drew Cooper, as usual, their big man. Number three in scoring in the uh, Northeast 10, and number one in rebounding. Well, Drew Cooper is no stranger to the news watch, I mean, excuse me, the, uh, Sports 3 here. And uh, we've watched him over the years, and it's good to see him taking an initiative role in the leadership department. So I expect a big performance from him this afternoon. We're all one big happy family, Ernie. Oh, it's, all, sure. it's all the same group. I said well, that before. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right, we'll be back at Alaska Gymnasium. It's the Hounds and the Purple Knights right after this. Visit Millbury Ford Mercury today and test drive the new Ford Windstar or Mercury Villager. Comfortable and roomy enough for the entire family. Or sit behind the wheel of the versatile Ford Explorer or durable Ranger. Millbury Ford Mercury also has 96 and 97 F-150s, the best-selling truck in America. Hurry, they won't last. Millbury Ford Mercury, where one price, no hassles, makes buying your next new car or truck easier than you think. We've got a reason to celebrate Millbury Ford Mercury. Just then, wait till you see us now. When asked, nine out of ten people say they'd rather be on vacation than at home. Come on. I'm bored. Hey, do not throw the gun. Of course, most of the people they asked didn't own a John Deere. Because in survey after survey, folks are more satisfied with John Deere than other lawn tractors. Honey, it's green. It sure is. <laughs> Nothing runs like a deer. See Pete O'Brien at 146 Supply Center, Millbury. And welcome back to Alaska Gymnasium on the campus of Assumption College. Gary Tangway in for John Holt today, and I'm joined by local legend Ernie Floyd. Oh, Ernie, thank this, you for this, that is, title. this is a privilege. No, it's a privilege for me. Well, okay, well, that's, what I meant. that's what that's what I that's oh, why okay, I was going right. with that. Well, listen, <laughs> we're looking for a good ball game here uh, from Alaska, as we told you in the open, as the announce as the starting lineups are being announced right now for St. Mike's. St. Mike's is coming in uh, with a team that has a, a veteran team. They do have some veteran leadership. Their starting five consists of four seniors, one junior, and one thing that we do want to note when you look at their starting lineup, which consists of Mark Melvey at guard, Jeff Card at forward, Watke is the center, Okosi is the forward, and Fizzelich also plays a three, three spot, is that Watke and Card, they were redshirted due to injury, so they've got another year left. So while Coach Tom Crowley has got a pretty good pipeline of players coming in, such as Panuzu and Gonzalez and Henderson, they're all sophomores, and Daniels is a freshman who sees some playing time. 
Uh, he's got two of his seniors coming back, which only means good thing for St. Michael's. Uh, Ernie, St. Mike's is a program that back in 1990, they were kind of in the same position assumption is now. They weren't very good. The program had been through three coaches in three years. And since Coach Criley has come on, they've had five consecutive winning seasons. They won the ECAC a year ago, and they were the preseason number one pick. So you can see that a lot of hard work has paid off for St. Mike's. And they're at the position where assumption wants to be in a couple of years. Right now, we're going to pause for our national anthem. National Anthem live from Laska on the campus of Assumption College starting lineup for Assumption as they have already been announced Andy Nitzwicki the freshman guard who's doing a terrific job dishing out the basketball 50 assists so far this year Melvin Miller also gets the start Brett Krause also getting the nod today and Kurt Hold their big guy at 610 and of course Drew Cooper a guy that's having a terrific season so far and I didn't know this Ernie but here's a guy right now number three in scoring in the N10 uh, number one in rebounding the guy was cut four times in high school that's unbelievable and what th that shows you right there where perseverance will take care of it for you and some hard work and um, it's a different story now and it's good that he's, he's stuck with basketball and he's here this afternoon yeah it could because you just never know there is one lineup change now you got Panuzo in there he is going to be jumping center for St. Mike's and Kurt Hold will go up for assumption. Ball is controlled by St. Mike's, the senior. Mulvey brings the ball out front. Dishes over to the right side, the card. They work it down low. There's a big man, Panuzo. Ball is knocked away. It's going to stay home for St. Mike's and the Purple Knights. Well, St. Mike's is coming out already, uh, trying to set up, establish their offense. And of course, this assumption going man to man. There's Panuzo. He has the ball. He gets it over up top to Okosi. Back down low to the big guy, Panuzu, around the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Miller for assumption. Here comes the Hounds on the break. Needs Wiki over to the right side. And the jump shot is good by Melvin Miller, and the Hounds are up early, two zip, just in the way. But the Knights love to run. Mulvey back the other way. Dish over to Card, the guy can shoot the ball. Goes baseline, turn around in the lane, off the window and in. This guy's got a great field goal average, right, already 61% a game. Well, he just proves it to you right there, showing that uh, spin move on the baseline. Nice professional, hard, strong move to the basket. We have a whistle on the floor and a violation, which I believe was a kick, so it's going to be stay with assumption. There's Nees Wiki, pressure in the backcourt. Cooper stays home, tries to help break the press. Knocked away by Mulvey, goes back to Mulvey on the break. He goes into the lane, and this team can run, and that's obvious early in this one. And not only can they run, they can also press. As you notice, the press is giving an assumption in the early going some hard times. Nees Wiki gets it up the floor. Over to Krause, gets it back to Nees Wiki. Tries to go inside, back cross pulls pass, and that's picked up by Fizzlich. But Assumption keeps the ball back in their own end as Miller comes up with it on the left wing. Miller being a factor early in the game, as you saw early, he had a rebound, came down, spotted up, got rewarded on offense, and now he comes up with a big steal. He's Wiki, the freshman, will run the offense. Looks like uh, St. Michael's is extending their zone. Krause back up front to needs Wiki. Almost to, um, to the point where it's the man-to-man -man situation, which opens up the middle. Tried to dump it down low. Bad pass by Holt. Third turnover right there for Assumption. 
and St. Michael's on every chance they get, they like to get out on transition. They like to play an up-tempo game, but that particular time it was a turnover. And we talked to Coach Crowley before the game, and he said that St. Michael's has been struggling on the offensive end, and here's an example of it with the turnover. Yeah, right there, that was with uh, Okosi. Okosi, thank you, and uh, you're right. They, they have been, uh, they're known, right now they're known to uh, be number one in the Northeast 10, and they're coming out, and you're right, they are struggling. And they are struggling offensively. 20-second timeout. Hounds want to talk it over. And the thing of it is, early is that Coach Crowley told me before the game that defensively they needed to get better. They needed to improve their endurance. They needed to improve the job they did on the defensive end of the basketball. And they're doing that fine right now. But he said the offensive end they thought were okay. They come out, even though they're 74 and 2 and 1, offensively they've been struggling this season. So we got six turnovers. In less than two minutes, four for Assumption, two for St. Mike. So I think the break or, I don't know, maybe the weather or the snow is having an effect on the guys here. Well, they had a tough loss against Vermont. They lost by six against the tough Vermont team. So uh, they were trying to come in here and see if they can avenge that against Assumption. Okay, jump shot from the perimeter. Three oh. of it goes, and that's Fizzlich. He is a 49% field goal shooter, so he can light it up too. Uh, he, he, he looks really sweet on that shot. He was known as the best player in his freshman year. In the league. You know, and that's something that can't happen either there, Ernie. I mean, needs Wiki, who's a good ball handler. He can't do it on his own. No, not at all. As you can look, once again, St. Michael's is putting out the pressure against Assumption. Assumption is not a, has not adjusted to the uh, full court pressure. 17.30 to go, 7-2. Knights in the lead. Penetration by Card. Has it knocked away. Mulvey ends up with it. He takes it inside. They'll keep it back out. Three-pointer around the rim. No good by Fizzlewitz. Spot four, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Okosi, and it's going to go the Hounds' way. Well, that's a big break right there for Assumption because they're having some trouble here on defense, and uh, luckily that ball went out of bounds. But once again, this with the full court press being demonstrated by St. Michael. Miller brings the ball across the floor for Assumption. Bound pass to Drew Cooper on the right side. Puts it to the floor, cross court. Goes over to Krause, up top to Melby for three. Actually needs Wiki as I get my uniform. Wow. Right. There's yeah, Melby yeah. back yeah. all the way. Here come the Knights. Well, look at them as they get out in transition. The ball, the ball rarely touched the ground. But look at the size of these players. Look at number 34. He is huge. He's big. He takes up a lot of room. That's Alex. He's a junior out of Rochester, New York. They own the defensive boards. Nine zip run right now for St. Mike's. Nine to two, 16-51 to go in the first half. Great defensive play right there by Panuzo, sophomore out of Bergenfield, New Jersey. Coming back to the press and uh, Assumption trying to make something happen is Kurt Holt. The ball gets knocked out of bounds there, and uh, St. Michael's playing some pretty good defense in the early going. It is the sixth turnover for the Hounds. That's Mulvey. Here's the floor general, the senior for them. Out top to Jeff Card. He is in the top ten of the country at field goal percentage. Panuzu goes to the glass, and he's going to be hacked. Manuza was on the other end defensively, creating the ball to go out of bounds. But as you see him uh, penetrate on offense, he's known as the best player uh, on the team, one of the best at least on the team. And uh, also he beat out Cooper last year for something for Rookie of the Year. The foul is going to be called a Krause and uh, super sub Steve St. Martin out of Catholic Memorial High School. That sounds he's familiar. in the basketball game. Yes, it does. You will see a lot of him, I'm sure. Scrappy young player. There go the Knights. Fizzlewitz around the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Cooper. He's the best in the Northeast 10, averaging 10 a game. Assumption sloppy on the break. Look at Mulvey. Mulvey got his hands on there. He's all over the place. Yeah, he leads in about five different categories in the NE 10. Needs Wiki. Gets it over to Krause. There's St. Martin with the ball on the right side. Back over to Krause. Tries to get it to a slice of Cooper. Good D again, Ernie. Here Mulvey. comes Mulvey running the break. He was looking for Alex on the left-hand side that particular time. There was a nice little dish there, but for some reason, that one little miscue on the eye contact allowed it to go out of bounds. Offensively, the Hounds are struggling, as our able statistician Phil Robo says. Assumption hasn't scored since 1928 in the first half. Obviously the first half, three and a half minutes scoring drive for them. They haven't really got a good look at the basket as well. 
you have to credit St. Michael's with the good D. Look at the physique body of uh, Alex there ripping the boards down. And Assumption has not been allowed to get second and third opportunities at the offensive end. Nice steal and next hustle by Drew Cooper. Here's St. Martin. He'll take it back the other way. Maybe it's a situation where his Assumption cannot run with this team. Probably have to just slow things down and get into a half-court offense. Troy dishes the ball back out front. Goes over to Brock Erickson. Layup is no good. I think he got intimidated that time down low by Panduzzi. Carr tries to dish to the left lane, Ooh. get a little fancy. That's the heart attack kid right there, huh? No pun intended. That's Steve St. Martin. He's known as the scrapper on the team. He's cutting back to the defense, as you see, and he goes and he hustles after everything and anything. And as you can see right there, he's in the parking lot. 15.09 to go in the first half. Again, we are at Alaska Gymnasium. St. Michael's is leading. Assumption 9-2 in this one. J.E. Watke in for the Knights. Assumption is still cold. I would say at this point, having established themselves. Fizzelich to the glass. The big man down low. One of the big men at 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he's a senior. He let us know that he was in the house, too. He knocked it out the glass when we heard a big yell up here in the stands. I like that. Erickson has trouble with the ball stolen away by Card. Here come the Knights. Good job by Steve St. Martin to get back on defense, but there was no charge there. Good avoidance right there. Nice knock off the glass by St. Michael's. We're going to take a break. 14.39 to go in the first half. If something is struggling, St. Mike's in the lead, 13 to 2. We're back. Yes, Dudley? I'm starving. Can we have a snack, Mom? Here's your snack, kids. Cheese, fruits, and I chopped up some carrot sticks. Thanks. What? No candy? No chewy gooey tar bars? Eating too many snacks can cause tooth decay. But if you need a snack between meals, choose nutritious foods like fruits, vegetables, or cheese. I'm proud of these 242 teeth. That's why I'm eating nutritious food. That's right. Eat up, kids. Yay! Well, here's a take a look at the guy that was the, one of the best players uh, as a freshman on the baseline. Goes straight to the basket, goes strong, takes everybody there, and watch this. He gives the big yell there, there, right there, and I like that. Nice aggressive play by Fizzelich. They need to get something going offensively, that being St. Mike's. They made the long trick down from Vermont about four hours, or I guess it was actually six with the icy roads through Route 93 and so forth, and it, this may be a good game for them to do it. Obviously, they have the advantage in talent and veteran leadership and experience over Assumption. So for St. Mike's to get out of their offensive rut, Assumption's right. a good place to do it. Well, the way to get out of your offensive rut is to come out and press and get involved in the game, pick up the tempo. That one, two, one press is just giving Assumption a lot, a lot of problems. Josh Zoki is in the basketball game right now. Foul is going to be on Watke. First team foul on St. Michael's. For St. Mike's. Turnovers assumption eight to St. Mike's four. 13 0 run right now for the Purple Knights. Erickson will run the floor. He'll run the uh, the offense right now. Over to St. Martin. Over to Zelke. He's crossing the left wing. You can just see the size difference uh, with Assumption and uh, St. Michael's here. Freud with the bucket but you know something early that time we saw some patience well that's what's going to be the key for them this is that big guy who was very patient down low used his size and was able to squeak that one up and that's what the assumption is going to have to do is slow down the game because st michael's wants to run moby for trey no good rebound comes down to zelke martin on the break here come the hounds 15 footer around the rim no good rebound comes down to erickson he'll start it over gives it to st martin Ball goes down low to Freund, the big man. Nice hook, Ernie. Oh, Looked like you won that one. A <laughs> real nice hook. Out of the Shannon Station, New Jersey. That's a big fella, 246-6. Plays a little forward, running center right now. He could throw it around. Derek Henderson is in the game for the Knights. His Mulvey up top. Well, he could be the answer. If they go back to him a little bit more, he's hot. There's Henderson around the rim. No good. Rebound comes down to Erickson. 13-15 to go. 13-6. St. Mike's in the lead. First half action live from Alaska. Well, a friend, if they go back into him, he's one of the few big bodies Assumption has to contend with the St. Michael's team. And he was a presence on the last two outings. And uh, let's see if they go with him again. And St. Martin could not keep the ball in bounds, so it'll go back the night's way. We got more substitutions. 6'10", junior. Big man Kurt Hole will come back in for Assumption. And Andy Needswicki, the freshman who does not play like a freshman. He's back in the basketball game. 
Warren Daniels checks in now for the Knights. Uh, he had 26 points versus a loss against St. Rose. A very good team out of Albany, New York. He had seven threes that evening. From the left side is Henderson. The three is good. Back the other way. Here comes Assumption on the foul. Hole goes up strong. One of the things we're going to see, though, from St. Mike's is they are deep. You'll see a, a Wadke contribute. You'll see a Henderson contribute. You'll see a Gonzalez contribute. Yeah, basically, if you check the stats, you'll see a little bit of everybody on the, on the category. There's a situation right there where Kurt Hole's gone to the glass, and St. Michael's job is not to allow them to score anything any way possible. 88% at the line. 88 from the line for Kurt Hole this year, and that is a great number. If you look at foul shooting statistics across the country, 88%. You're fantastic. Yeah, you know something? They've been talking about free throw, especially starting let's start from the top. Let's go from to the NBA. Oh, it's is it, horrendous. Is it, is it a lost art? Yeah, absolutely. And Kurt just displayed it was a lost art right there because he missed both of them. Nice defense. <laughs> St. Martin got a hand in there, and it's going to go back. Assumptions way, 15 to 6, 12.35 to go in the first half. Again, from Lasker Gymnasium, I'm Gary Tangway, in for John Holt along with Ernie Floyd. Well, that was a good play by uh, the most one of the most versatile players on the team, which is St. Martin. Matter of fact, I was... They mention the fact he plays every position, probably except center. There's St. Martin, even as we speak, tries to penetrate. Good defense by the Knights. Up. Oh, it's knocked away, but regained by Froing. Dishes it back out. Needs Wiki goes to the hole. Oh, and that's it good. Oh, what body control. That's a play of the day, huh, Ernie? Oh, definitely. You got to save that for the highlight reel. He's starting to emerge and coming to his own on this assumption team. Had a little injury with the knee there, but look at the body control. Able to get it up. And that's a great effort. And that's a momentum builder right there for assumption. Twelve fourteen to go. Fifteen to eight. Substitutions are being made at St. Martin. We'll take a break, and Drew Cooper will be back in for now and needs Wiki. Boy, I hope they don't ask me that name in reference to a spelling contest. If they ask me that, for a bucks. <laughs> I do well to pronounce it early. <laughs> Ernie, and it counts. There you go. Down by six right now. Assumption is slowly but surely crawling back into this one. They need to be patient with the basketball. There's Gonzalez. The left side gets it over to Card, gets it over to Mulvey. Right side for Henderson. They'll work it around till they find the right shot. They are that patient. There's Mulvey for three, and it counts. Wow. You cannot give Mark Mulvey, the senior from Belmont, Mass, that shot, because he will drain it, and he just demonstrated that right there. Be careful of the trap. That's something the Knights have done very well. Hey, they've been pressing all game since the ball went up. They will use the entire floor, we were told, before this basketball game. This is a definitely a scrappy team. Can't get it to count, grabs his own board, way to follow the shot. This Wiki is a, a local product, he's from Sutton. Cooper, no good. Rebound card, running the break. This is what St. Michael's likes to do. Oh, see that spin move. Sweet, and he used the other hand too. Goes for the left hand, Freund rips it down. Here comes Assumption, the dish to Cooper right wing. Spin move, and he walked. Ernie, <laughs> that's good defense. That's really good defense. The stationary of two St. Michael's players on defense there. And Look at the spin move Martin coming Moldy. into play. You got Gonzalez there, and also you got Watt 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 in there as well. There's a couple of two big frames out of there. It's almost like going into the Jersey wall with that spin move, and he was going nowhere except the travel. 18-9, 11 minutes to go in the first half. St. Mike's is in the lead. Henderson with the jumper, oh, that was sweet. and it counts for three. 21 to nine, St. Michael's in the lead. They continue to put on the full court zone press, and they love to trap. And they, have, and they haven't gave that up all game. They force a turnover, another one. Turnovers have killed Assumption, 11 for the Hounds right now, and that's because of good defense. It is good defense, and also what can hurt is Derek Henderson, as we just mentioned a little earlier, number 35, shot the three. He's known as a good three-point three, three point shooter, and what's gonna kill Assumption is they're not contesting the shots. Biggest lead of the ball game right now for the Knights. There's Card. He is their go-to guy. Or one of their go-to guys, I should say. He and Melville are both tops in scoring for this team. Yeah, Card, big guy. Brings a lot of strength. Gennady Gonzalez goes to the glass, and he gets whacked. Oh, they're going to call a walk on this before the foul earning, so the wow. Hounds get the call. Check this out right here. He goes straight. Oh, he smacks right into him. Uh, Kurt Hold. Had to hold his position for that one. There's the press again by St. Michaels. Miller gets it back over to Erickson, who's in the ball game. As they, you need to pass to break this press. You got to get to the middle like he did with Cooper. Definitely. There's a good look right there. 
Zelke goes baseline, gets it over to the big man, hold, you gotta make those bunnies. Oh, no no good, fought for. Cooper and Hold in there fighting oh, for Oh, that's a back break. Ernie, you gotta make those. <laughs> Definitely. That's a dunk right there. The guy is right there. Even I wanna jump out of the stand to go down and tap that one. He's there all by himself. Take the step, go in. Could've been a three-point play. He missed that one. Wow. Hey, I can, uh, I can relate to that. I had a couple of those days. Yeah, but you would have slammed it home and broken the backboard. Oh, I know that. Good. All right, great defense again. Their double team, St. Martin, takes a pass on the lane. Nice pull. Steve St. Martin. Oh, nice body control. He's ready to attack the basket. And that's what something has to do. Bring back that aggressive. Wow. And it counts. Nice shot over there by their big man, Panuzo, at 6'7". Listed as 6'7", and he gets a nice three-point play. His field goal percentage is 55%. Well, he's known as Mr. Everything. 10 boards, 10 points as an average. Uh, he's known as a, they said he's known as a quiet player. He, he gets his points uh, really quietly, and he does the small little things. And boy, he, he has a big frame there, too. Well, I don't know how quiet that shot was right there. Free throws, he's only 66% on the year. And the three-point play is converted. Needs Wiki back in the ball game now. Well, he's one of those Zilke. players. There's the coach right there for Assumption. Serge DeBerry. DeBerry, right. Coming home. Cooper to the lane, and he's fouled. And I believe they're going to call it on card. And that's one guy we want to see get in the foul trouble. Drew Cooper finally making himself for the presence here this afternoon, and uh, he goes into the traffic. And that's what Assumption's going to have to do is definitely take it to the big people down there. Make something happen and go to the line. Plenty of time left in the first half. Drew Cooper is going to be our halftime guest with Mike Garofoli, who will be joining us here on Channel 3 Sports. As he'll talk to Drew, a kid that was cut four times in high school, as we're told by SID over here at Assumption, Steve Morris, and that just gives young basketball players motivation that if you love the game, keep playing, and he connects on both. So it's 24-13, 9.45 to go in the first half. St. Mike's continues to lead in this one. St. Mike's has come out with a big, strong performance at both ends, and Assumption is still trying to adjust. Back out to Daniels. Daniels gets it over to Card, who's on the left elbow. Bounce pass, nice pass. Wow, nice Fizzlich. pass. Nice passing to Fizzlich, right there. Fizzlich finishing off something strong. One of the seniors we've been talking about, and here's that press again. There's no let up. Do you want Drew Cooper in the backcourt breaking that press, Ernie, or do you want him in the middle? You want him in the middle because you want to get a good look at the free throw line to see if he can, uh, once again, like you said, you don't pass to the press. They've been doing a lot of passing. I mean, uh, excuse me, a lot of dribbling to the press. Layup missed right there by the big man, Kurt Holt. Nice dish by Nietzsche on that one. Here come the Knights card, gets the feet from wow. Daniels. Wow, oh, one extra down. pass, and that's Whoa. what you get. Fizzlich connects on that one. They pass the ball extremely well. It's obvious that this team has played together a lot, Ernie. Discipline, discipline, discipline. And the pressure is still being applied. And they're still dribbling through the press. They must not have heard us or uh, read the uh, rule book on how to break the press. 28-13. Still Saint, dribbling. St. Michael's leads assumption, 8.36 to go in the first half. You're right, Ernie. Got to move that ball around. Make that defense work for you. Cooper. 32% from three-point land, but you know something, when you got a big guy shooting like that, you know that your team is in trouble because you're trying to get back with the bomb. Yeah, that's true, too, and uh, what he has to do is basically show a presence down low. The St. Michaels has just come out and they established the tempo. They know if, if they try to run it, they do good things on the other end. There's another big man trying to match it. Fizzlewich goes with it, and it's saved by Panuzo, and he calls a timeout. Wow, they gave it to him. <laughs> wow. It, so it is going to be a 20. Round. Ernie, i got to ask you about that, because I've talked to coaches who want their kids to do that, and right. I've talked to other coaches who say, what are you, nuts? Yeah, why are you Especially with time? a 28-16 lead. Yeah, would you want the turnover? But at the same time, you're right. That's I don't know. Point. I mean, it's, it's a philosophy. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Well, you're right. They do have the lead, and um, at this particular time, well, it's getting kind of sloppy. It's probably a good chance for both groups to, re uh, to regroup, mostly for assumption to take advantage of the timeout, because it doesn't cost them anything. But at the same time, it gives the St. Michael's to regroup. It looks like they were getting a little sluggish at the end there. 28-16, 8.04 to go in the first half. St. Michael's is in the lead. We do want to welcome the entire student body of Belmont Street School and their parents. They invited, we're invited to attend today's game, courtesy of the school's corporate sponsor, Flagship Bank. So welcome, welcome gang. Here's Moby, the floor general. Over to Fizzlers, over to Card, nice cut. Back to Fizzlers, drives the lane. Wow, but he's on that. him. 
Perfect, nice layup. Perfect opportunity to take a charge, especially when someone's playing close to you. Someone should slide over. Get the press again. One, two, two. Oh. We got a block and foul on one end. And I wasn't sure if the uh, other official might have been looking to the charge, but we'll go with the block. Yeah, that's Alex Okosi. Uh, that's a big, big fella there. We want to remind you that our officials working today, Mike Gabarara, Ken Schreiber, and uh, Bruce Anderson, and as my mentor Bob Foraker would say, they are whistling while they work. <laughs> Sloppy handle by Cooper, cards wide open on the break. Famous words of Mr. Entertainment. That's right. The reason we're all here. Krause did his best to try to get back on defense, but it wasn't to be. You know something, Ernie? You take a look at uh, St. Mike's offense, it all starts with the defense. That's right. That's how you, what they call it, get the transitional point. And if that goes, that's just been a story for St. Mike's. They're just taking over and they're in control, like Janet Jackson. Fizzelich goes to the glass. Drew Cooper is going to be called for the foul. Well, check this out. St. Michael's has just got a presence of unselfishness. They like to go for the extra pass. Nice ball movement. And as you notice, the big men know their way around the glass. They look at the glass, and they know how to use it very well. And they bring a big, strong presence. And I think one of the keys are to this game is the fact that they're, they're coming from such a long distance. They want to take advantage and get a good win in here. 34-16. St. Mike's in control of this one from the get-go. 7-19 to go at Laska. Cadillac, creating a higher standard. Baker Cadillac Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile, demand better. Baker Cadillac Oldsmobile. Hi, I'm Joel Baker. For a great deal on a brand new Cadillac Oldsmobile or a good quality used vehicle, come see us here at Baker Cadillac Oldsmobile. We're only 18 minutes from Worcester. Baker Cadillac Oldsmobile, routes 2 and 13, Lemonster. And there you have it. The Greyhounds of Assumption women's basketball program will be taking part in the second game of today's matinee doubleheader here at Alaska as they get ready to do battle with St. Michael's. And uh, first-year coach Carrie Fair told me before the game that she felt that her team was just beginning to gel at about Christmas time. So, you know, you got a new coach, players, they got to get used to each other. She said about the ninth or tenth game around the holidays, we started to gel, and she's starting to see some good things. So hopefully we'll continue to see some good things uh, here in the second half of our double letter, right here at Alaska Gymnasium. There's a young fan, Ernie. That's a good thing, right you there. Know, work on your foul shooting, yep. young person, right? At the same time, they see they're developing the young uh, fan support here at Assumption College. You start them out young. There's the basketball. There's a greyhound. You know, give them the A's and B's and C's about basketball here. As a lifelong fan. Drew Cooper leads Assumption with 42 points in this one. Three points for Andy Needswicky. I tell you, these and on the St. Michael's side of things, nine points for Fizzlich, who's been getting a lot of balls down low, and Card has eight points. 7-19 to go, 35-16. St. Mike's in the lead. Dangerous pass, nice defense by Card, but St. Martin picks up the scrap. St. Martin on the dribble, puts up the left-hander, partially blocked. Rebound comes down to Melvy. Here come the Knights. These guys don't stop running, Ern. No, not at all. That's that, They're almost running like UNLV back in the old days, or... Looking like Chicago on a running game there. There goes Card. He's got 10 points. First guy in double digits right now in the basketball game. And what's good about St. Michael's effort is it's been a team effort. Assumption seems as though they're playing man-to-man. -man. I mean, one-on-one. -on -one. Fought for. Rebound comes down to Seth Freund, and he's going to be hacked going back up. And Fizzlich is going to be called for the foul. Well, they want the big men to earn it at the glass uh, at the free throw line. There's a shot going up by Derek Thompson. It's a high rebound. Big man's mixing up. Seth Run. he's in there, and you know he's going to get a hammer, especially when he meets uh, Fizzlelix. St. Michael's does not give you anything down low. They want you to earn it at the line. 52% from the strike for Seth. I'm checking out Assumption's gear, Gary. Check it out. Uh, the footwear down there is, uh, is that the 90s look for Converse? You know, I mean, the thing that I hate <laughs> to admit is when I was a kid, man, those were... Those were just beginning to phase out. Right. And, uh, the, uh, and the Converse All-Stars were coming in. Is that almost like Coca-Cola? Is it going to be like the classic or something? It has a combination of leather and uh, canvas down there? I think so. One or two for Freund on that one. Yeah, I think they, they want it to look old, but want it to feel new. <laughs> that almost like bowling shoes, uh, in a sense. Well, we could be fashion consultants, Ernie. There you go. Yeah, that's true, too. Mulvey up top. Finds Henderson on the left side. Back to Mulvey. This card with the ball, right wing. Look at St. Michael's presence down there, as you can see. 
Watkey's down there posting hard and strong, looking for the ball. This is skip pass. There goes Daniels, off the dribble, off the glass. Did he call it? They'll count it anyway. Yeah, nice soft touch by Derek Henderson. This trap is killing him here, Aaron. Oh, definitely, and they still continue to dribble out of it. And uh, situation, I'm surprised. No one's spotting up in the middle at half court, but they spot up in the middle uh, when they get down to the free throw line, though. Big rip right there. Krause off the miss. Here come the Knights on the break. Watke, oh, that was a pretty layup. Left-handed move by Watke right now. 41-17, 5.54 to go in the first half here at Lasco. And you know what's even prettier? He knew that Sumption was going to try to draw the offensive foul, and he eluded it and uh, went like on a slash move and was able to avoid the charge. When you look at offense, the Knights are not struggling today. 17 of 23 from the field. No, that's that exactly. And Assumption seems to be struggling trying to find some offense and trying to find a good shot. Here's Krause on the miss. Put back by Cooper. And Drew now has his seventh point of the ball game. But you know something? You take a look at that field goal percentage for the Knights. They're getting good shots. Well, that's true. And they're not only getting good shots, they're getting good shots outside as well as inside. And uh, they're getting some good looks. And that was a good chance right there where the Assumption came back with a great defensive play. And that was by Derek Thompson. But the ball ends up in Watke's hands, and when things are going your way, they're going your way. 43-19, five minutes to go in the first half. Tough first half for the Hounds. A little tough ha half. They're going to have to come back and see if they can chip away at this lead coming into the second half. Thompson with a tray around the rim, no good. Look at that. The right fights for the ball. Oh, he's he's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Gary, he's attacking. These guys are hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen such a hungry a team this year so far. Look how hungry uh, St. Michael's is. Is this a good shot here, Ernie? Well, they need some points in a hurry, and uh, if he can hit that, that would have been nice. But the situation where is, look at this. Okosi is just going crazy. He's on the floor, and if we had that camera angle to go back at him, he is, oh, they're hungry. Yeah, they're, they're animals. Thompson out front gets it over to Miller. There's Cooper right wing. Very aggressive team. Cross-court pass back to Thompson. There's some good movement. Outside shot, Cooper hits. Looking like Ku coach from Chicago Bulls there in the corner there. Good opportunity for Sumption uh, to come down and see if they can do that again. It seems as though they can't get into that rhythm. Three if it goes, wow. and it does. That's 18 of 24. Ernie, St. Mike's does not have an offensive rebound yet because they don't need one. <laughs> And that's, that's the, the that's truth. <laughs> and, and the thing about it, when they did have offensive rebounds, they were there for them. Oh, yeah. Melvin trying to make something happen. He's a senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. Here's one of the few attacks. Melvin was able to get into the paint. Guess who was meeting him there, meeting him uh, in the middle? Okosi. Boy, Okosi brings a big, strong presence in that forward yeah. position. He certainly does. They got some size, they got experience, and they played together a long time. And Coach Crowley has got himself a pretty good pipe going. I mean, he's got his starters in, in Melvy and in Card and, and guys who are seniors. And then he's also got, and the first one goes, and he's also got guys like Gonzalez. He's got right. Daniels, who's a freshman. Right. And he's got guys coming off the bench that by the time they're juniors and seniors, they're going to have plenty of experience. Yeah, when you're talking Melby, you got Melby out of Belmont, Mass. Uh, he's ranked uh, under some of the leaders in the Northeast 10 All-Conference. First team honors in East AC All-Conference, second team last season. And uh, the list goes on. 19-8 run right now for St. Mike's. And St. Mike's has not changed the game plan, Gary. They don't have to. They just keep playing great defense, and that turns it into offense. Hey, just keep squeaking it and squeaking it and uh, pushing it until it breaks, I guess. I think they're going to nail Daniels for the foul on that, but we'll wait and see. Daniels is getting yeah, some time. Yeah, it is time. Daniels. There's a situation where they didn't really have to swipe at the ball. That was a situation where they let, actually, he let Assumption out. They're at, they're at half court. It's not really a threat out there. Well, of course, Coach DeBerry coming over and in his second year and returning home, and he had great success at Babson, and I, I don't think that anyone would ever second guess or question, oh, and, no. and it's good to you know, question what Coach DeBerry has done in his year. But, I mean, y here's an example of just two, two programs so far being on different, th different places. St. Mike's in 1990, they were struggling. They were not successful. Coach Crowley comes in does the job, rebuilds. You're seeing the results of what he started in 90. And Definitely. you know, by the year 1998, 1999, you'll see what Serge can do, and you'll start to see the results of his work. Oh, it's definitely going to come through. And the buzz around the campus is the fact that they like him. They like him a lot. And so does Mulvey. Mulvey likes that three-pointer as well. Wow. He's a player. 
51 26 331 to go they're all players are yeah definitely Moby is in five different categories in the Northeast 10 uh, statistic book and uh, yeah going back to the Barry they like him here he's building he's working it's not a situation where there's a threat to his, uh, his coaching ability he's not questioning him he's been here before there's a nice strong move down the curd hope they're trying to get the ball in there but they don't that's one of the ways how you defend the big man you crowd him and as soon as Curran Holt gets the ball down in the paint, he's crowded by three St. Michael's players. And they have not shot well inside the paint tonight. Oh, not at all. And at the same time, they want, they want them to earn it at the line, what makes it even tougher. And let's see what happens here. Kurt, 88% from the free throw strike. 51-27, 325 to go. Again, Drew Cooper will be our halftime guest, along with Mike Garofoli here on Channel 3 Sports. And he makes the second one. And the second part of our doubleheader will be the Greyhounds women's team against the Lady Knights of St. Mike's. And here's Daniels on the other end, the Purple Knights. That's a shot. Missed by Henderson. Boards comes down to Assumption. Well, He's Wiki on the other end. But if Henderson was on the other side, I think he's three for four on the other side. We want to switch it up. Derek Thompson with a nice move. You're right. He looks more comfortable on the left side, Ernie. Yeah, he looks like they let that one go a little earlier, a little quickly. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. That's Gonzalez. He's on the left baseline. Oh, nice defense by Melvin Miller. Forced him to uh, stutter step. Hey, you know something? If you want to get a run going, this is a perfect opportunity to get it. Yeah, it's 51-30, and it's 2.54 to go, but so what? This is where you start. You got to go at one tenth, one uh, basket at a time. And you he know what's funny? They're starting to pick up press uh, at half court. Actually, it's not a press. It's man-to-man -man at half court. That's really interesting. Why do you think they're doing that? Right? Well, they got a big lead here, and they want to feel comfortable, and they want to rest the players. Rebound by Hole, dishes back out front. Missed by Thompson. Thompson, his own board. Nice move, goes to the lane. Dishes over to Hole. Kurt takes the jumper. Wow. Rebound, no good. Ooh, I thought that Watke got a little too high on that one, but I thought they were going to get him with a gold 10, but I think it was just a few inches short. Yeah, the assumption is definitely getting their opportunities, and uh, that shot by Hole there. He had the whole lane, actually, if he uh, stepped up a little further to create something, but it was a good shot overall. It just didn't go in. Unfortunately. Well, Assumption has one go-to guy offensively, and that's Drew Cooper. And they are not a team that can score at will. They have to get their points up for playing scrappy play. And I'll tell you, so far in this game, St. Mike's is just out, is out hustling. Yeah, he Mulvey again. Well, th if they can get Cooper going, you know, last year he was the freshman of the week seven times. And uh, they, they, they expect a lot of big things out of the sophomore. And they're really excited about him. But when you're a three or a four, and the type of player he is, or any holds for a bucket, it's very tough to do that. Yeah, that's definitely true. And right now, what Assumption basically is going to have to do is uh, try to get some team effort uh, going. And this is where it begins on defense. Miller with a nice steal. He'll bring it up the floor. Takes it to the middle. Oh, nice wow. dish on the break. Krause finishes Real it nice off. Dish. That was the prettiest play of the half right there for the Hounds. I followed Melvin's career. He wasn't doing that a few years ago, bringing that ball up. And it's good to see that he's, uh, he's trying to make something uh, happen for his team. Melvin, right side. Krause is on him. There you go, Daniels up front over to Gonzalez. He'll take it to the baseline. Oh, good stop on the baseline. Great Daniels. Good rotation. Oh, around. oh, Melvin and Coop fight for it. Melvin comes up with it. Hey, that's okay. As long as somebody gets the bound here. Let's see what they do. It's 120 to go, Gary. And uh, St. Michael's has backed off on the press with the last two minutes to go in the game. Rousey with a nice move. Can't convert. Oh, nice move. Oh, that's going to miss. You, you can see that all the way. How come they can't get those, Gary? What is, is something up there or something? I, I think they need to go to Ernie Floyd's big man camp. <laughs> you got to do the mic and drill. You do a little hook on the left, a little hook on the right, a little hook on the left, a little hook on the right. And you need everything you can get. And this is a perfect example of, of Assumption's woes this afternoon. There's a layup that's missed. And he's right there. The big man, you're right there. You're right there. Oh, you can't get it. Oh, there must be a lid up there. Well, I'll tell you something, Ernie. I don't know about you, but you could tell as soon as he left his hand. Yeah, Didn't definitely. even hit the glass. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> we, because we have a terrific angle right here right. in Alaska. We just looked right at, the, right at the glass, and you could tell it did not have the angle it needed. 54-34, buck 10 to go in the first half. <laughs> Taking a look at some notes from our terrific statistician and historians in the truck. Uh, the 55th meeting between the Knights and the Hounds. 
with assumption leading 37-17. And if they don't change that, that's going to move to 18. <laughs> last time out, St. Mike's victorious, 105-83. to And uh, both times last year, St. Mike's on the winning end of things against the assumption Greyhounds. Yeah, another thing I noticed, too, with the big man here on this team, they're not, they're not hungry, they're not aggressive for some reason. Uh, this is a nice shot right there by uh, Holt coming back. And he's work, he's been working on his game. Matter of fact, he's from South Africa. He had a women coach down there. <laughs> that was coaching him, and uh, not to say anything, you know, I'm not going to touch that, but at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I thought you were perfectly politically correct. You were just making a statement. But you weren't saying that because he hasn't shot well. It's because, never mind. No. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. I am not going to touch that one. All right, here we go. Dana's back the other way. Here come the Knights. They continue to go to the hoop. Wadke down low. Kicks it back out front. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no good by Henderson. Well, he's been missing on the right side, center side, but the left side has been his shot. It's left been, his, it's been his, uh, his landmark. Miller goes baseline, spin move, off the window, no rim. Rebound Gonzalez, outlets to Melby. They're going to work it down and take their time right on in to the locker room. Oh, they're not in a hurry. Like I said, once again, assumption going back to the big men. I, I noticed that St. Michael's men earlier were yelling, screaming, slamming the floor, you know, slamming the ball, and they're hungry. Assumption, maybe we'll, don't feed the big men for about a week or so. Throw just rare meat into the locker room or something like that. You Make have those a, guys pounce on it. A very unique coaching technique, <laughs> Coach Floyd. Can you do that in the 90s? Well, I I think you just got to win. I mean, yeah, I think they'll let you do whatever you whatever you want as long as you win. That is the second one of Kraus right now. It comes down to heart, and it comes down to uh, just trying to get a killer instinct here. As we go to the break. St. Mike's is an amazing 24, make that, yep, 24 for 34 from the field. Krause lets it fly, and 24 for 34 from the field to Assumptions, Ooh. 11 of 31. That and the defense tells the story in this one. At the half, 54 to 36 here at Alaska Gymnasium. Gary Tanguy in for John Holt this afternoon along with Ernie Floyd. This is the first of our twin bill where the Lady Knights will be taking on Assumption in our second part of the doubleheader at 3.30. Right now at halftime, we're going to be bringing you a very interesting interview with Mike Garofoli of Channel 3 and Drew Cooper. And we'll be back with statistics before we begin the first half for you. Again, the score, 54-36 at the break from Alaska. On Star Trek The Next Generation, I play Dr. Beverly Crusher. Computer, emergency entry, Chief Medical Officer Beverly Crusher. And I play Warp, the Klingon. Warp to Enterprise. Go ahead, sir. Beam me up. Our movie's special effects are light years ahead of the original televised Star Trek. But we both share the same vision of the future where education and advancing technology have dramatically improved human and alien life throughout the galaxies. Education can improve your life, too. You'll have a positive future filled with opportunities. So stay in school and graduate. Engage. This message brought to you by the U.S. Air Force, because we know the value of a good education. You've seen this storefront many times. It's Ken Jones Tires. What you may not know is this. We have the largest selection and variety of tires in central New England. If you're looking for a lawnmower tire, we have it. If you're looking for a passenger tire or a farm tire, we have that too, and everything in between. Our whole business is tires, not tune-ups or oil changes, just tires. Find out for yourself why New England comes to Ken Jones Tires for their tire needs. Ken Jones Tires, Chandler Street, Worcester. Looking for a new truck, sport, or utility vehicle? Look no further. Edward Buick GMC Truck is one of New England's most respected GMC truck dealers. Get the big advantage. Edward Buick GMC Truck will give you the most generous trade-in allowance, greatest lease program, and the best financing. No money down with your good credit. Stop in today and see one of our helpful salespeople or ask for Brad Day, GMC Truck Manager, for the best deal on a new GMC truck. Edward Buick, GMC Truck, 72 Shrewsbury Street, Worcester.
And welcome to halftime of this afternoon's game between St. Michael's and Assumption. I'm Mike Garofoli, joined alongside by sophomore forward Drew Cooper. And Drew, tell me, there, there's something special about you. I mean, most people come to college, they've had an outstanding or at least very competitive high school careers. What's unique about yourself? Uh, I really, I didn't have a high school career. All I did was play, you know, church league at a local school. Uh, I was cut my freshman year of high school, and then I, I came back and I made the JVC my sophomore year. I never, you know, I never got in. I was, you know, I got in the last 20 seconds of a 20-point game. Mm -hmm. I scored like, you know, five or seven points the whole year. I, I, you know, I came back and I was cut my junior and senior year. You know, they were a solid team. You know, they're they're always a good team, but you know, I was just I, I didn't make it. So. Yeah, but they were an outstanding team coming from Kentucky and all the basketball tradition. Well, it's it's a big school. It's got you know it's got 1,400 kids and it's, it, they're always a really competitive team. And and my senior year they they were you know the top 10, top 20 in the in the uh, in the state, right. and they ended up making the Elite Eight, and then they played in, in, in Rupp Arena, you know, Kentucky's uh, home floor. Mm -hmm. And but you know they they went, they didn't you know they went at all. They they did they did have some some kids that went on to play Division three schools. Right. So it, they they were they're always a really competitive team. So how were you able to hone your skills? You mentioned church leagues. What else did you do to kind of get your basketball skills? Nothing. Through? It was just really on my own. You know, I mean, I went you know I played at at parks, pickup games, and. And when I when I thought when, when I felt that you know I could play with these guys because there were a lot of players with the park that you know, I thought I I competed with right. and, and when I knew this I, I thought you know I thought I worked more in, on my individual skills at a local you know local school and I just it was really just all individual you know I never really worked out you know I never practiced with anyone. When you found you had been cut your junior and senior year, did it ever enter your mind, hey this is it I'm not going to play it? Yeah year, right? yeah it, I did it in my mind and. And when I sat down, I thought about it. You know, I thought it was probably over, but but something kept me going. I don't know what. You know, it was just it was. I'm really lucky to be in the situation I am now. Now we're down in Kentucky, how'd you find out about Assumption College here in Worcester, Mass? How'd you? I, I've you never heard of Assumption. I've never heard of Worcester. <laughs> Assumption. There's an Assumption High School down there. It's an all-girls high school. And so, you weren't going there. No. <laughs> I never thought of that. But uh, when I when I heard of Assumption, I was like, you know, Assumption is kind of weird. You know, we got an all all-girls school down the road. Mm -hmm. I'd never heard of Worcester. You know, the only town I knew up here was Boston. Right. So I, I knew it was close to Boston. I, you know, it was, it was really weird. It was awkward. So who kind of shuffled you in here? Who who introduced you to the coach here, and how'd you get involved with Assumption College? Well, I went to a uh, summer basketball camp about a month, a month before I was supposed to start classes at a Division school, two school down in Kentucky called Bellarmine College. Uh, I was supposed to start there, and then I went uh, to a basketball camp. It was called uh, the Blue, Blue Chip Basketball Camp, where a lot of high school players go. Mm -hmm. And they had some in addition to that camp. You know, it was the first year they did. It was for graduated seniors that have never have never been recruited, and you know, I didn't have you know anywhere to really go and play. And I was planning on going to the camp to try to get recognition from the Bellarmine coach because I knew that he would be there, and I knew I was going to try to walk on there. So, right. I, so I, you know, I was hoping to do that, and I went there and I did that. I made the top 60 out of 500. I talked to the assistant coach of Bellarmine, and. Uh, you know, he said I could walk on it. I would have a shot at making it. But Rick Bowles, who was, you know, he's the, uh, he's like a national recruiter. He sends out letters to, to coaches and things like that. Uh, I guess he was contacted by by a coach here. I'm not sure who, but you know, about it, we did have a scholarship open. You know, is there anyone out there worth right. worth looking at? And he he did mention my name and he got me a tryout up here. And you know, before I knew it, about a week before classes started, I was up here, and uh, you know, things worked out. So are you were a scholarship athlete up there? Yeah, yep. yeah. Now how was it transition, uh, it wasn't even a transition <coughs> from high school, but how was it going from playing in the church leagues, playing in the rec leagues, to coming in and being I've, a scholarship athlete? Here? I've never, you know, when I first got here I didn't think I'd be able to make it. You know, we played pickup at the recreation center next door and uh, I didn't think I'd be able to make it. I never played against players this, you know, this good. Right. But, you know, like I said, things have just worked out for, for the best. I mean, you know, what can I say? <laughs> right now, you're leading the team in scoring. Yep. So what is, what is it about your game that you've been able to forego, basically, a high school career and just step right in and you're leading Assumption College in scoring? <laughs> I, I don't really know. I mean, I, I like to call myself a natural scorer. I, I kind of have, uh, it, it's, it's weird. I don't really, you know, I, I do shoot, you know, threes and things like that, but, you know, I get a lot of, I, I get a lot of layups. The ball falls in my hands sometimes and, and you know, it's just, it, it is weird. Are you more of a low post forward? Or are you more of a swing forward? How would you characterize your game? I'm a swing forward. I mean, I I, I go on, you know inside and out. So. 
Now tell me about your team. They're one of the weird things that many people may not realize. You guys have played 10 games, you're four and six, yep. and your home openers yeah. is today. <laughs> I mean, what, what's going on with that schedule? Well, you know, when we saw the schedule, when we looked at the schedule, you know, we had, you know, we had New Hampshire College, at, you know, we had a couple times, we had one in Albany, and, you know, we had our first three conference games were away, and that was designed, you know, so, so we could, so, so we could play the best at their place, you right. know what I mean? So now we're four and six, people look at us and say, well, they're going to be another, you know, low 500 teams, but now these teams got to come play us in our spot, and we competed, you know, with them at their place, and now they got to come play us here, so we have nothing to lose. Right. Now, your team, I'm sure you've, made, <coughs> you've been made well aware of the history here, the late 80s, yep. the, the great teams and national yep. power. Do you guys have to, do you feel any pressure living up to those years past and trying to rekindle what once was? Well, it's not, it's not a lot of pressure because no one expects you to do it. You know, when I came here, we were one in, like, one in 52 the, fir the first two previous years. So, mm -hmm. so th it's not really pressure on my part. Maybe it is for, for you know, maybe Coach DeBerry or something mm -hmm. like that. But, but um, you know, you do look up and you see Jim Best and Drew Adderley and, and all those guys that, that, that want you to win. And, right. and you, want, you do want to win for those guys and Coach DeBerry as well because there is a lot of tradition here. And so you want to do your best. And, and Rock Walski as well. You know, all these guys, you know, come to our games and, and cheer for us, and you want to win for them. And lastly, what's the key to this year's team? What do you guys have to do to get over that 500 hump? <coughs> well, what, we, we are going to be over 500 this year. I mean, we, when we play hard, you know, that, that's what Coach Berry says, you know, is when we play hard, we can compete with anyone in the country. We played St. Rose, you know, like they're, they're the top five in the country. We lost to it by nine in a game that we, you know, it could have gone either way. So. All we have to do is just play hard on the defensive end. The offense will come. You know, look, you know, we it, if we have mental lapses, then we lose. That's what's happened to us in, in the games that we have lost. We, we we're not getting blown out anymore. We're, we're we've competed in every game this year, mm -hmm. and we're we, you know we're going to win our games. All right, Drew. Thanks for taking right, time out and joining us. Thank you. That's Drew Cooper, sophomore forward here for Assumption. We'll be back with more halftime activities after this. needs brake work, don't take chances. These people should have taken their cars to American Brake Service. At American Brake Service, our ASC certified technicians use the latest technology to inspect and repair your brakes, usually in about an hour. And at American Brake Service, you'll get a lifetime guarantee and our unbeatable low prices. So no matter what you drive, don't take chances with your brakes. Bring them to American Brake Service. American Brake Service, stop in for free brake inspection. Need money? No problem. Loan USA will loan you cash for your valuables. Gold and diamond jewelry, TVs, VCRs, cameras, musical instruments, and more. Loan USA will loan you more money for your valuables than any other area pawn shop and safeguard them for the term of the loan. It's quick, it's easy, it's secure. It's Loan USA, America's pawn shop. When you need money fast, you need Loan USA. 52 Chandler Street, Worcester. Nobody loans you more money. Nobody. Dad had the lift master man put up a new garage door opener for me. I've only been driving for a couple of years. He's got this cool safety reversing sensor. Something gets in the way while the door's going down, it goes back up all by itself. So tell your folks to call a professional, the lift master garage door opener man. Come see the lift master garage door opener at Rainer Garage Door, 46 Milton Street, off of Gold Star Boulevard in Worcester. Empire is your wholesale connection for top quality leather furniture. We liquidate discontinued leather furniture and sell it for what other stores pay. We feature beautiful custom built leather sofas from only $490. For the best value, come to Empire. Empire has great youth and teenage bedrooms. We feature top quality solid ash or maple bedrooms with quality draw construction. Our values are unbeatable. Solid ash bunks from $490 and $590. For the best values, come to Empire. The 
Beth. And welcome back to Lasker Gymnasium here at Assumption College. I'm Gary Tangway along with Ernie Floyd. You see the halftime score there. It's not pretty for Greyhound fans, 54 to 36 at the break. And it was all St. Michael's, and I'll tell you, they did it with defense, and it starts with defense, and then it goes to offense. Let's take a look at some of the great plays from the first half. Shall we hear Ernie St. Mike's on the break right now? And they give it to Jeff Card who gives it over to Fizzlich in the left lane. Great play. His textbook right there. As you see, the gentleman's bringing up. Daniels is bringing it up. Spots the money on the wing. And he could have shot the three, but instead he went to feed it down, went to extra pass, and that's what you get. And Assumption wasn't even ready for it. And, and as I mentioned, defense is so important because a lot of kids want to play above the rim. A lot of kids just want to score. But Phil Jackson of the Bulls will tell you, hey, our offense starts with our defense. And you look at a team like the Bulls where they have two all-defensive players and, and a guy like Jordan and Pippen, well, three now with Rodman. And you can see that defense is so important because they're off. You want to talk about field position? Right. I mean, if you if you made the comparison to a football game, the field position for St. Michael's starts at three-quarter court. <laughs> That's you know, because they're getting the ball in transition at half court. And at the foul line in the backcourt for assumption, then they just have to go about 25 feet, and they've got a shot. As we move along, take another shot here. Jeff Card is a tremendous player. Uh, and, again, starting with he picks up the loose ball, he goes on the break, has an easy bucket. Well, look at the big man. The big man is getting out of everybody. The front court, back court of assumption, how can that be? And assumption is having a hard time getting back there to defend. That's how you get a fast break. And there you have it. Some of the brave assumption Greyhound fans who have, uh, well, weathered the storm. Lucky. We, oh, got, we, we got lucky with the weather here. And from what I understand, we would have a better crowd, but the kids are on break uh, here at Lasker Gymnasium. And as we along, let's go to the replay now. And uh, one of the bright notes, I think, textbook play, Ned's Wiki finds Thompson. Well, that was a good play right there because that's one of the few big assumptions was able to come across and, and uh, take advantage of St. Michael's breakdown on defense. And that, you notice Derek Thompson went straight to the basket and he created something and got something that was two points. Let's take a look at stats again. 54-36. St. Michael's is in the lead. Field goal, 68% for St. Mike's. I mean, they were incredible. 23 of 54 compared to 12 of 36, 35%. For assumption. Free throw, both teams should be fairly careful about the 100%. It's only two for two, but 10 of 13 on the Greyhounds end. A team like that has to make their foul shots. Offensive, defensive, rebounds. I keep leading on the offensive end for some months. Yeah, that's true, too. You know, I mean, one, you know, they got 10 board, 10 defensive rebounds. Ever since, so it hasn't been a big deal. 20 total for Greyhounds. Nine to the turnover ratio there. Well, look at the turnovers right there right. for assumption. It's 13, uh, just went to nine. How many points were, uh, were points off of those 13? A lot. <laughs> I would say so. I'm, that, I'm fighting that, Ernie. I can tell you it's a lot right now. Here we go. Second half action. Back at Alaska, Hounds going the other way to our right. Nidzwicki out front tries to get the ball down low. Cooper ends up with Rock the lane. It's nothing. That is a Hey, let's see if it could be a different story in the, uh, in the second half. Plenty of time. Three pointer. Round the rim. Good. The miss by Board comes down. Nidzwicki runs it back the other way. On the break for Assumption. Plays it up and in. Ernie gets Good the call. Job. Good job. Melvin Miller out on a fast break. It's filling the wing and he did that very well. And a guy out of out of Tennessee goes down, goes aggressive to the glass, and the big man for St. Michael's thought he could get that. Why not? They were ruling all first half. They thought they could do it in the second half, but that time Melvin won on the board. Melvin goes to the line, shooting 60%. And he makes the three-point play. Melvin with nine points in this one. If you're assumption, what are you looking to do in the second half, Ernie? Well, I think they should establish the half-court game. Slopens down. It's evident cannot run Michaels. Take some time off the clock and just be patient. Melby for three. He was hot in the first half. Wow. Led all scores with points. Wow. But he got Fizzlich who goes back and connects it uh, the other way. That's a backbreaker right there. That's ridiculous. Brian, uh, Brian, Brian gets in there, gets the grip, throws it out the three-point land, gets knocked down. And Drew Cooper, who led something in the first half, goes up strong, cannot get the rebound. Krause fights for it, has it blocked by Fizzlich. It comes down to Melby. Here come the Knights. They got numbers. He has company. Oh, the putback. Fizzlich can't convert. Nice defense for his card to make a bad layup. Well, that's true. Melvin was able to get back through the defense to make something happen, get the rebound. Now it's time for Assumption to start getting some points on the board. Cooper off the rim. Rebound Fizzlich. The big man runs the break. Again, numbers. Wow, a lot, too. Oh, big play, though. Look at that play, though. You got three on one, and that's the cardinal sin right there. You got to score. But, but fortunately, Assumption was on the other end of that. Great defense transition over. That's Ricky out of Sutton, freshman. Hey, a freshman at that. That was a real nice play on the end as Panuzu did not go in on troll. Now, Assumption seems to be handling the press a little bit better. I probably spoke too soon. Uh, in the middle, and a uh, perfect opportunity for them to uh, try to chip away at the points department. You know, that's a good more long right there. 
if you get any type of flow going and you get a 10 second backcourt violation or a 10 second call, that, that hurts you. That, that hurts your spirit. It seems as though they're coming out and getting a good flow. Down low, we got a whistle underneath, and it'll count. Wow, they gave it to him. Brian Panuzzo, who has seven points on the basketball game right now. Well, you got Panuzzo, you got Fri Frizzlich underneath there. They got some big breaks down there. Okay, yep, six foot four, plays very athletically. I'll tell you something, though. Frizzlich, for a guy that's 6'6, six, six, I mean, he handles the basketball very well. I think you guys that are 6'6 six, six can't handle the rock. Well, well back in the days, it was give the ball to the big men, uh, give it to the guards, and let the guards do all the hand. Big men will say three feet and under underneath the basket. Now it's a different story. Games played on both in the court. Big men can't. Those days are over, right? That's right. Again, they deal with the trap. Well, the big people want to be small, play with the small people, and the small people want to play like the big people. Grass is always greener, and I believe a foul is going to be called on card. So a break for assumption, 60-39, your score with 18 to go in the second half. What you do is try to get card in some foul trouble, and at the same time, it's the clause assumption to, to, uh, to regroup and see what they can get on offense. Wow, Kosey is up there. Zelke has the ball on the right wing, looking for help. Finds Nidzwicki. He's double chased wow, all over the place. Is. Oh, good defense, though. Wow. You want a guy like a coach on your team, don't you? <laughs> I mean, if you're playing a boxing one, or if you have somebody that just has to go at the ball, he's no, definitely. There's the matchup for the matinee. The second half of our doubleheader. Kerry Perry, coach here for the Greyhounds at Assumption. Little Kosey Alex is averaging about two points a game. And 6'4 uh, Junior, he likes to mix it up. And he's in there on offense, too. Kosey, nice job on the board as Panuzu put a pot that wouldn't fall. Here's the one, two, two press once again. And they, what are they doing? They're dribbling. And the big man's on the floor with the near steal. Gets up to hold the middle. Right wing goes the middle. Over to Zelke. Zelke, 15 foot up front, rims it no good. Ball is, you can't dribble against a presser. You can't dribble against a presser. And at the same time, Melvin Miller trying to make some happen by going penetrating into the zone. But you have to credit St. Michael's. They've been crushing into the paint. A lot of pressure there, which allowed, which is making assumption, right. result to the jump shot. And they're not hitting. 239, 17-13 to go in the second half. These wiki is going to take a break. Brock Erickson of Holden, Mass. will check in for the Hounds. Well, going back to the press, we've been talking about St. Michael's pressing. Uh, when is the chance where uh, Assumption's going to come up and start pressing? But maybe they don't have the athletes to do that. Or maybe it's too early to do that. Card to the lane. Foul is going to be called. I think it's going to be called on Brock. And it is going to be on Erickson. Well, this isn't a bashing against Assumption, but it seems as though Assumption's on there. St. Michael's is pushing the issue. Look at this. Going strong to the basket. Is that the line right now? The big people are playing strong, playing aggressive, and that's Card, senior out of Princeton, New Jersey. Went to Chicago, Connecticut. 64% from the line. Not only is this guy in the country in field goal percentage, but he's also number one Northeast 10 in So he plays very good defense as well, and he connects with both. 64-39, 16 to go. Oh, hold deep. Out to Zelke, Zelke, Florida. Oh, well, look how St. Michael's came back. On defense, they were all three quarters of the players were up the other end. Look how they came back and recouped. It's tough, nothing doing. Rebound, Panuzu outlet. Here comes Card on the He's breaks. He's going. Oh, spill, baby. He's going. You gotta like that one, Ernie. And he got it. Big men are playing smooth. 14 points right now for Card. Back the other way. There's Erickson with the ball with assumption. Got to move the ball around. You got to make the defense work. And there's what you get. Nice play. Zelke is open on the feed. The Purple Knights. Oh, Assumption's just going to have to press, 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 and not allow any air to get in between them. Mulvey tries to go down low. Zelke had some nice defense, but he's going to be nailed with it. Now Zelke putting a hand out there. He got beat because he was playing behind the man. And let's take a peek at it. He's playing behind. You might as well say uh, he was out of position. You got to front the big man down low. And that was Panuzzi, Panuzzo. And uh, Zelke was giving away just too much height anyways. Out of position. And it's very tough to defend against a well-passing team. If you got a team that is not going to dribble and does the four-point drill, baseline, elbow, elbow, baseline, boom, you keep doing that. Right. And I'm telling you, you're going to find somebody open. That's true. And that's what, what that does is that they're allowing themselves to make the defense work. And that's how you break the defense down. And that comes with patience. It also helps when you have a big lead. Doesn't hurt. There's Card. He's on the baseline. There's some pushing out like that. The there you go. The big man, uh, Brock Erickson, is a, he's pushing O'Casey oh, over there. O'Casey. Check it out down low. Look at it being held. There you go. You can get away with it. You can do a little pushing, but I actually think that it was, uh, it was up higher when it actually took place when it was Alex O'Casey. A lot of pushing down there. 
i'm not one to second guess our friendly officials but instant replay sometimes is not their friend nice play by st martin back the other way given go with erickson goes back to say martin they play catch cross the around the rim no good from the perimeter rebound there's panuzu and a whistle and i think stevie's gonna get nailed with that one so that was a good job by assumption they were pushing the ball up they were looking for one another it was a good shot the shots are just not falling gary unfortunately well it, it, i don't know if you can teach shooting can you? I mean, you can teach mechanics. You teach the mechanics. Or, or, or is it something that comes natural learning, or is it no, something you need to work on 100 shots a day? It just comes down to practice like anything else. Spin move, card. Wow. Oh, nice touch. Uh, you notice how he's going to the baseline, saw some assumption defender spun out of the pressure, and was able to still knock it down off the glass. Now, see right That's here, you sweet. Think the middle guy's got to come up high. He right finally there. did it, yeah, yeah. He finally did it that time. Zelke. Erickson to the hole. 5-4, the call on Panuzu. But the middle guy is coming up, I think, a little bit too late. Not to say it's that we're I think so too. I mean, If you had a Telestrator here, Ern, and we'll put it in the budget at Channel 3 for you, Ernie's, All right. Ernie's Telestrator, <laughs> you, you, on the break, you really need to see a guy come up to the dot. I, 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 I think they got to come up just over half court. And they're not doing that. And what happens is the guards get in trouble when they pick up the dribble on the trap. And as soon as you pick up the, drub, double on, uh, the, the, the dribble on the trap, you're done. That's true, and it, what's happening is St. Michael's is doing a great job of uh, rotating over. Oh. If they get beat, it looks like they're beat, but all of a sudden, the rotation comes over and they've been making the steals. 79% from the line for Erickson, he gets the roll. The lefty, around the rim, no good. Panuzu with the board. A 13-3 St. Michael's run. 15-10 to go, 68-52. 42, excuse me, wishful thinking here at Laska. Assumption trails. Card in the middle. Oh, How nice get play. That? I oh. have no idea. Gonzalez was open, and I thought I thought Assumption was going to pick it off. Here comes Erickson. Oh, nice move between the legs. Aaron going to like that. Nice pass nice to step. Klaus, left side. They're getting their opportunities. Uh, right now, they've got to settle down. St. Michael's playing that tough man-to-man -to -man pressure. Zelke pulls up off the rim. Off the backboard, that is. And here come the Knights the other way. Melby in the paint. Pulls up. Oh, nice roll. That's his first bucket, I believe, of the second half with five and a half into it. Here's a guy who led all scores with 13 in the first half. 15 from Mulvey unofficially for the Knights. There you go. Zelke has the ball. He'll take the 15-footer. Looked like it was partially blocked by Card. Fought wow. for. Zelke ends up with it again. Bounce pass right side. Nice up fake. There you go. He stayed stationary. Didn't move the shuffle the feet. And went up high off the glass, starting to get physical. Here's St. Martin, nice D by Assumption. Krause between the between the leg dribble, puts it over to Erickson, down Big low. Man What's he gonna do? The layup is good by Seth Freund. <laughs> hey, I was waiting for the Space Jam. Did you ever break a backboard, Ernie? No, no. I've always wanted to break a backboard. Well, back in the day, breaking the backboards was it, uh, was it uh, in? Was it in? Okay, oh, but I mean, but you know, slamming and uh, making the crowd go crazy and uh, gaining some momentum with the team was was the thing. They used to call you the helicopter, didn't they? Yeah, that's right. I, I did a little bit of everything, yeah. made it true. I have to go dig up those films. Maybe we we'll do a halftime I, special on that. Or I, I think I I, I I do so well. You know, I'd love to continue to talk about this, Aaron, but we got to take a break. Okay. Seventy forty six thirteen thirty seven to go. Second half action from Assumption. Hmm, home heating oil prices. I just can't figure them out. Discount oil dealers offer low prices, but if I need service, I'll be out in the cold. Full service companies offer the service I depend on, but charge 10 to 20 cents more per gallon. Superior Oil offers the best of both worlds. Fair prices that are always competitive and dependable service and convenience. Superior Oil provides automatic delivery, oil pricing programs, fit your budget, and licensed service technicians on call 24 hours a day. Dependable service at discount prices, that's Superior Oil. We are back at Alaska, everybody. 70, 56, 46, 13, 37 to go. Here's the replay with Krause between the legs and gets it over to Erickson, Ernie. Well, Erickson is looking and looking. Uh, the opportunity was there. Look at the missed assignment right there. Uh, uh, Gonzalez for St. Michael's was just all twisted around, and that was good recognition there nice, by assumption. Nice play by throwing the big man down low. How do you like to reward the big man? You, they, that's right, you do. St. Michael's Lady Knights coming up as they take on the Assumption Greyhounds at 3.30 right here on WGMC-TV. 
three. Nick Manzello talks with Assumption football coach Mark Garrett and Assumption guard Steve St. Martin on a special edition of Nick Manzello's sports page. So stay tuned for that. 70 46, 13 and a half to go in the second half. Well, time is ticking down. Let's see what Assumption does in this series. Thompson no good. Martin goes with the put back. Rebound comes down to Drew. Oh. It's nothing. Fought for with Gonzalez. Drew ends up with a nice play. There you go. Nice move. He was underneath the basket, was able to come up and maneuver over. And now let's see what, if Assumption puts on a little full court pressure themselves. Daniels will bring the ball up. They got some of the bench players in there, and the shooting roll is Mulvey. Misses everything. Nice rebound by your guy Okosi, but Drew takes it away. This is a big break right here. We'll get a little at a time and see what they recognize down low. Erickson off the window is good. Nice move by the southpaw. Real nice move. The situation where his assumption is starting to pick up the tempo, as they say. Playing close, they were picking up at uh, three-quarter court. Now they're picking up full court. Assumption with an 8-0 run right now to pull within in 20, 70-50. They need a couple of more stops here, especially down low. Let the ball go out, and they get the ball again. Jay Watke losing control of the ball underneath. It goes White's way. Says the official, and St. Martin brings it up. It's Coop, gives it back to St. Martin, comes across He's the going. Line. Oh, oh. And he can't find a handle, Ernie. He ran out of gas at the end, and uh, good recognition. He saw the seams of that defense, went strong. For some reason, he didn't finish strong. He was going strong, but didn't finish strong. He had to pick by the big man, by friend, and he didn't finish. That's surprising, because he usually makes those. Possession there does not go the Hounds' way, unfortunately. Oh, that was, a, that was a big bucket right there. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, for them to get any momentum, and they need to find it sooner, and he's down by 20 with 12 and a half to go. Miller is back in the ball game. Nidzwicki has also checked in for Assumption. Oh, nice block. Nice block by, by Cooper. On Watke as he tried to go hard to the glass. Let's see if they can recoup and get it back again. Nidzwicki up top. A three would work for them. And it connects Derek Thompson. Boy, are you a fortune teller or what? Yeah, 1 900 psychic Floyd. That's it. That's all you need. Watke up top for the Knights. We get a call away from the ball. It goes Assumption's way. I think it's going to be on Jeff Card. The momentum is definitely swinging. Don't be surprised to get a timeout. That is Card's third foul. 11 1154, 70 53. The Hounds looking to get something going. Americans have joined Peace Corps. They're returning home, and their experiences last a lifetime. Meet Lily Lindsay, a teacher in Virginia, and Scott Truex, a mayor and business owner in Colorado. The challenges that I face as a Peace Corps worker were the same. For me as a public school teacher, now I have a more global view. One aspect of the Peace Corps that really helped me in business and as the mayor of Crested Butte was learning how to work with people. Changing America and changing the world. Peace Corps, the toughest job you'll ever love. They have it, Ernie. Let's take a look at this play. You called it, big man. You called this one. I was wishing, man. I brought my lucky charm, and I'm like saying, I want an assumption three. I want an assumption three. And Derek Thompson says, Ernie, you got assumption three, and there it is. Now here's the man. This is the fortune teller right here. Where's the turban? You got the cards? You got the <laughs> turban out there? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All hail Ernie Floyd. Yeah. All gotta right. rub the knowledge in. Gotta oh. rub the knowledge in. <laughs> is that how you made it through Holy Cross? You put the book on your head? And then some. <laughs> there you go. All right, 11.48 to go, 70.53. The Knights in the Oh, lead. nice cut. Oh, did he get? Oh, oh couldn't convert. Derek Thompson on wow. a nice flash to the basket. It was a great pass, but he couldn't make it happen. Oh, that Melby was a tight back way. the other way. Takes the jump shot. No good. Fought for by Okosi, and he puts it back up. Oh. Nice play by Alex Okosi. Okosi is not afraid to mix it up. Got in there, got over the big man. And that was a backbreaker right there. The freshman, big center, 6'6", 240. Should have owned the boards now. That's where the killer instinct comes in. Yeah, that's right. There's no doubt about it. The guy is a ball hawk. Not a ball, not a ball hawk, but a ball hawk, as you'll see right here. Look at him. All these takes a shot. The big man, he's, he's boxing out. And all of a sudden, you see uh, Okoksi gets in there. He mixes it up and gets the tap. Everybody got a rebound. Cooper with the ball. Nice bounce pass to Miller, but it's knocked away by Fizzley. But unfortunately, it's going to go the next way. Hey, they're starting to go back door because now St. Michael's is starting to pressure up on, on, on Assumption, and they're starting to recognize it three quarters through the game, and now they're trying to go back door. Well, 11 14 to go, and you're down 72 53. You got to press, right, Ernie? Oh, definitely. You got to go full court, and you got to take some chances. I'm not sure. Assumption doesn't really go that deep, so that's going to hurt them. 
and St. Michael's does. Melvi, he has not hit a three in the second half. They'll do it again. Front rims it. Are they getting tired? Oh, look by in there. They Ooh. fought your guy, Akosi. Got to get a body on him. Somebody has to recognize who has him. I think that's what, ass that's what Assumption is asking himself. <laughs> who has Okosi? Mulvey's just running the show here. He's kicking it out. St. Michael's going for the three. Now look at this. Okosi's just come out of nowhere. You just got to move people out of there. I don't care how you do it, but you got to move people out. You got Melvin down there. You got Seth in the house. And uh, they're not closing the clamp on defense down low. And Okosi is not a big guy at 6'4", 200. No, just come down to determination. Substitution holders in the ball game for assumption. There's Miller, has it on the right line, tries to go inside with it. We got a whistle. Got to grab there, a little lazy man's defense. They really didn't have to do that. They got a nice lead and uh, just play some straight pressure up. And yeah. Alex gets nailed with it, his second of this one. And that is the seventh on the Knights here with 10.44 to go. And he's been playing aggressive all game, and that's surprising that to be his second because he's been killing him on the offensive board. He must have, had, he must have at least eight, eight or ten points just off on, on the offensive boards alone. Miller goes to the line now for a one-on-one -one situation. Sends the penalty. The penalty is attacked now against St. Mike's. Carr just triples the length of the floor untouched. Tried to dish it over to Fizzlich. Nice defense by Assumption. Yeah, Assumption got back on the defense quickly. Look at this transition. St. Michael's pushing it out. Great block out of bounds there. And they had to let it go. Good each shot by Assumption. Each team with an 11-0 run in this half. So the momentum has flip-flopped here with 72-53 to go, 10-28 in this ball game. But you, you know, Gary, if you have a lead or if you have a deficit there, you're down. You can't exchange baskets. Just try assumption, trying to get out on the break themselves in the corner, going to the baseline strong. There's a blocking foul. And uh, Okose has been picking up the fouls lately. He's probably just getting a little tired, breaking down mentally. Well, the officials are becoming more aware of it. Because I think that if you look at Okose boy, his endurance, the guy's all over the place. Zelke does not convert on the foul shot situation. Back the other way for Card, drives hard. Foul is going to be called on a blocking foul. Hey, you got to face it too, Gary. Uh, the fact that St. Michael's, for big people, they run. They get out and run. They're physical. They get out and run. They're trying to make things happen. And the big people for St. Michael's is not afraid to run. And look at the excitement that they get there. Look at it. He's coming over. He's talking to him. He says, hey, man, you did a great job. Keep it up. Go to the line. They try to knock down too. It seemed like Melvin Miller, who's now leaving the ballgame for Steve St. Martin, kind of pushed the guy, pushed Card into Kurt Holt, who got called for the foul. Both teams in the penalty situation. So we're going to see foul shots from here on in. With 10-17 to go, 73-53 in the second half. Oh, St. Michael's, look at the size. We've been talking about it all game. They're aggressive, they're tough. And uh, Assumption is just trying to hang in there. They really don't have the physique to, or the aggressiveness as a St. Michael's team. But overall, they're hanging in there and they're doing a good job. We got a, 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 it seems like a 1-2-2 two, two here this turn, time around, Ernie. Yeah, once again, they're dribbling through the press. And look at the big man. The big man's all over the place. Fizzlewitz, number 50, seems to get his hand on every play. Steve St. Martin goes in on the rebound on the Zelke miss. And Assumption has had their opportunities 10 feet and in today, Ernie. And they've had a, a number of opportunities. St. Martin's trying to make something happen. And there's the creep up shot right there by Zelke, by Josh Zelke. And then here comes St. Martin following up. Too hard off the glass, but he's got to go to the line. Well, what that was right there was a makeup call because nobody touched St. Martin and they hammered Zelke. So Zelke should have been going to the line, but Assumption gets a guy there just the same. It's Steve St. Martin. It from the foul line. You think the referees this year, are only 45 percent. You think the referees are getting a little soft now, a little sentimental down there? We're in the hound town. I don't. I doubt that. I doubt that very much. I don't know of too many officials that get sentimental. Here we go. <laughs> Coop is back in the ball game. Zelke comes off the floor. 10:05 to go. 74-55. Here's the Same first. Mike here's, in the, the lead. here's the first look at the press, Gary. For assumption. Man the man. St. Mike's didn't have a tough time breaking it already. That's the thing. Here's Melby. Drives the lane. Well, hopefully they try to slow him down. Around the rim, no good. Oh, it's batted away by Hold. And back the other way comes Assumption. There's Stevie St. Martin, left wing. Goes down low to Kurt Hold. 6-10 guy down low. You got to take him, baby. Oh, it's nothing but air. Rebound comes down the card. Look, look at, at the break. Look at the big man get out on the break. All purple. He's going to keep it. To the hole. 
You know uh, why? They all want to score. <laughs> That's hungry. why. They're all hungry. Look at down the other there. Give me some highlight, baby. There Touchdown. you go. All right. <laughs> Give me six, right, Earn? Here you go. 76-57, 922 to go in the first half. Oh, nice hustle by Derek Thompson on the other end, but a foul is going to be called on Coop. Oh. He just ran right into Mark yeah. Delby at half court. Yeah, that wasn't really smart. Wasn't smart at all. Cooper had good intentions, but wasn't planted well. One of those situations where you gotta get your buns down, you gotta slide your feet. That's why you have the sliding drill. And hopefully the you know, sliding drill would have worked there. You know what the sliding drill is, Ken? I remember it from my days at basketball camp in Maine. They had basketball up there? Believe it or not, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, you know. With snow on the uh, ground there? Uh, Peach basket in the barn, that's okay. all we needed, Ernie. <laughs> This will take a look, take a look at the shoe. Yeah. Aren't those neat looking shoes? Yeah. I gotta try some of those on. Those are neat looking shoes. They kind of look like moon boots. Yeah, exactly. I'm you don't moon, though. You're, you're, not, you're not turned on to those, are you? You no. really like them. You know what's funny? Early during the year, I'm the Clark coach, uh, the, the women's coach, uh, yeah. her name escapes me at the moment, was uh, they were looking into those sneakers and they did a, a poll with them and the women didn't like them for some reason. Just didn't do it for him. No. You, are, you are the fashion king as Mulvey nails one. 78 57, 9 16 to go. If Assumption's going to kick in, it's going to happen now. Needs Wiki up top. St. Martin left wing. Coop left side. A couple of threes, some inside play. I think really if they can go inside, get something to happen. Martin on the Thompson miss. Foul after the shot. Hmm. Foul. Steve St. Martin on the push going for the board. Steve St. Martin, uh, junior guard, Hyde Park Mass, went to Catholic Memorial. Shot flies for Assumption. High rebound. Everyone's mixing it up down low. And Steve Martin's fighting for it and uh, probably got called for the push off. That is great camera work by our crew here at Channel 3. They're professionals. They are. Getting down low on that one. Hey, they're ranked number one in the league uh, of their own, in their own field. Or number two. Oh, we have to check the stats. Ernie, these guys can make us look real bad. They're always number one. They're always number one. As a matter of fact, they'll probably mix our names up. They'll put Gary Tangway under you and Ernie Floyd under me <laughs> if we're not careful. That's true. If, you know something? People will believe it, too. Yeah. Mark Fizelich. There you go. Nails the second one. 79, 57, 902 to go on this one. And what we are seeing here today, folks, is one program that has rebuilt and is receiving the benefits of a lot of hard work. And and determination as Hope puts in the easy bucket. Hey, hey. It's Wiki. And Assumption just has to get to where St. Mike's is. And we got a blocking foul call. Yeah, it comes down to the positioning. Like you said, when it comes back to rebuilding, it's really tough when you're uh, playing against a team that, that's been in the lows and all of a sudden now they're getting a little taste of the highs. It's tough to go up against a team like that, especially if you're trying to rebuild yourselves. Because that team right now, which is St. Michael's, has that killer instinct. They're not letting anything go by, and they want it, and they want it now. And um, they're also being known as the, uh, one of the top teams for the Northeast 10, and they want to show that, and they've been doing it right now. Melby connects again from the line. Mark Melby was having an outstanding game. He really shot well in the first half, coming out with a couple of big three bombs. He has not shot that well from the perimeter in the second half. 17 so far from Mark Melby in this one. He had 13 in the first half. And I think Nidzwicki is really a high point for this team. Everybody talks about Drew Cooper, third in the league in scoring, number one in rebounding, and he's a terrific player. And Drew Cooper, who's a sophomore, you get Andy Nidzwicki, who's a freshman, dishes the ball very well, had over 50 assists coming into the game. And I think he's a guy, Ernie, that this program can really build on because hey, it all starts with a point guard. True. And when he's a senior, he's going to have a lot under his belt. Well, that comes down, that's what they call passing the torch. Uh, and as Ricky is, he starts to come in, he's going to have his own. And what's great is he's playing under some great experience, and he's learning that right now. Kurt Hold, 88% from the line. Front rims it. Well, make the Kurt Hold. That was a decent lob pass to the big man, but... Uh, St. Michael's just converged on him so quickly. He wasn't allowed to make uh, to do any room. They collapse on the ball very well. They are a terrific defensive basketball team. And I think today they got